13 horses have won the prestigious title of Triple Crown Champion. And Paul Bullman, owner of Goldmark Farm, has a passion for sharing their stories. That's why he created the largest private Triple Crown Museum unlike any other. Horse Capital TV is powered by John Deere. FTVOA and the Florida Department of Agriculture, Showcase Properties of Central Florida, and Pachin and Glenn, Attorneys at Law. It always it appealed to me that the highest standard is horses that run in the Triple Crown races. When you do the Derby and the Preakness and the Belmont, um, it's special, and to win them, three races at different distances in a five-week span, so it takes a, a very special horse to be able to win it. I realized that there was never any emphasis um, a, of a museum on just the Triple Crown. And so that's what I started up here at the farm. When I give tours of the uh, Triple Crown Museum uh, here at Goldmark Farm, the private museum, um, I'm happy to share the backstories of these horses. In 1937, there was a horse that uh, was the fastest of his crop and his name was War Admiral, and his father was Man of War. And that's one of the influences that Man of War has had. And it's been the fascinating day. to me, and I love sharing the history and of the industry with people. My museum is built around exhibits of each of the 13 horses that won the Triple Crown. Each exhibit has the silks of the owner over the, uh, the exhibits themselves. So the exhibits have memorabilia from each of the 13 Triple Crown horses, dating all the way back to the first horse that accomplished the Triple Crown in 1919. As you're walking through the museum, the uh, museum also shows the owner's silks. One is captured by the colorful uh, silks and the various colors for each farm because the owner selects his own colors and his own silks. And this is the Secretariat Walls where Secretariat demonstrated that he was an amazing horse in a number of different ways. And then in 1977 was a horse named Seattle Slough, who was a real bargain at the sale. The, uh, the owners only paid 17500 for uh, Seattle Slough, and yet he turned out to make many times that as a racehorse. And I also have a large horse that's painted in the colors of American Pharaoh, uh, which was the horse that won the Triple Crown in 2015. And uh, we uh, honor Victor Espinosa. I'm also working right now on a movie of the living Triple Crown jockeys. They are all great ambassadors for the sport. And so I'm thrilled to have tried to capture uh, their essence in uh, a documentary and uh, hopefully that will come out yet this year. Every single horse is unique, and they all have personalities, and you think horses are horses, but they aren't. Every single horse has a unique personality, and they will show you, uh, you know, that personality over time. Before you leave the museum, I also have a uh, television opportunity to see each of the horses' races, the Triple Crown races that they accomplished in their lifetime. Uh, to realize what they did accomplish on the track. I don't like to touch anything unless I'm doing it at the highest standards. And so uh, when I put, started putting the exhibits together, I wanted to do it at the highest level possible. When I touch something, I try to make it better. I believe I've accomplished a lot of that here at Goldmark Farm. For more information on private museum tours and Goldmark Farm's training facilities for thoroughbreds and sport horses, visit goldmarkfarm.com. Shop Ocala Luxury at Dillard's, Market Street at Heathbrook, Ocala.